Hey everybody and welcome back. So uh, this might be a different video and it might be interesting for you if you like to travel and it may also be interesting for you if you live in one of the four countries where I picked up these shopping circulars. So just, just to explain and if you see motion that would be my cat. Just to explain, whenever I go overseas a lot of times the souvenir I choose to take home is just something that's free. Um, in this case, when uh, I'm staying in a hotel and if I need to go to the store, uh, it's, I typically will grab a circular from the store just to bring home as a memento. And it's just interesting to look at, especially, and I'll give you some commentary as I flip through all these. So, to start with, this first souvenir I picked up was from Denmark in Copenhagen where uh, I stayed for a few days around New Year's Eve last year. So, or actually, this New Year, this New Year's. So, um, anyway, um, we spilled some ice cream on a car seat, uh, on the rental car. So, I needed to go get some upholstery cleaner. So, I found this store called Harold Nyborg, which is equivalent to, I want to say, like a Dollar General or maybe a Kmart in America. But anyway, here was the circular. And as you can see, they're really pushing the fireworks because um, they love fireworks there. On New Year's Eve night, they were shooting off so many fireworks in Copenhagen that it was just unbelievable. We just stayed in our, we just stood on our hotel balcony and just watched as the fireworks went off all night. But that's not all they sell, so let's just kind of see what was uh, selling at Harold Nyberg when I was there. So we have fireworks galore. And this is in Danish. So we got more fireworks. And more fireworks. This is uh, in the money they use, the kroner. Um, that's, so obviously that's not in euros or, or dollars. So it seems like it's a lot, but um, I actually have some kroners. I'll have to show you in another video so you can see what they look like that I got when I was over there. They're really cool looking. You know what? I'm starting to think that this whole circular is nothing but fireworks and safety protection. So, um, yes. Uh, glow sticks, I think. Um, that is, it says, uh, I'm hoping, I guess that's a pellet gun or a, a fireworks shooting gun. I think their laws on fireworks are a lot looser than they are in America because it's, you have to be really careful to shoot fireworks off here. This looks like cap, oh, they're cap darts. I've never even seen that here. These, I know what these are. These are little drumsticks. You can buy those in America. Those are little smoke bombs. Uh, what do we call those? Roman fountains? Roman, okay, Roman candles and uh, something fountain. Uh, New Year's Eve apparel. Right. And uh, the earrings, uh, ties, funny hats. Copenhagen on New Year's is pretty fun. Um, so if you want to spend an interesting and memorable New Year's Eve, I recommend going there. Um, party stuff, you know. Um, more party stuff. And that's it for Harold Nyborg. Okay. Now, since we were in Copenhagen, Denmark, we were right close to Malmo, Sweden. So we also went into Ikea. So, interesting story. This is the very first Ikea I've ever been into, and I went to the one in Sweden, so this is my souvenir. I actually went into Ikea because I was hungry. We crossed the bridge from Denmark, and I knew that they had food there, and I didn't really want to hunt for a restaurant. Since it was right off the road, we stopped in there, and I just ate this fantastic meal. Uh, I was just sort of blown away at how good everything was. Um, bottomless cup of coffee, delicious...
basically you could just take a tray up there and just fill the tray up with anything you wanted and then just check out and I don't even remember how much it was maybe 20 kroner or something but um, and then just eat well because you're in the cold Scandinavia and you need lots of food and energy so Ikea is let's see this is like home furnishings okay. See, a lot of this stuff is really cool, and me and my wife, we just walked through all the different rooms to see, but obviously we we really weren't in, in there to buy decorating stuff. I think we did buy a few things, but we also, um, I bought a thing of coffee, because I wanted some coffee from Sweden, but then when we got home, it turned out the coffee was made in Australia, but that's okay, but I was kind of hoping, because um, I like to bring home coffee from every country I go to. But, um, you know, can't win every time. But it, it, the, the Ikea style, it's very cool. Um, I mean, like, if I, if I just had a lot of money and an empty house, I would totally just go to Ikea and, you know, do it up. But <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Uh, what is that? Is that ice cream? I I'm not sure. When we were there, they had um, a drink, a, a canned drink. But well, they had a few drinks that were popular. But the one in IKEA was like a winter mulling spice kind of cola. It was pretty good. Kind of tastes like eggnog mixed with cola. I think that was the sweetest thing. When we were in Denmark, and we were in Denmark at the same time because we just drove back. Um, Fox Condi, I think is the name of this sort of, it's like Sprite or 7-Up. What's the, the preferred drink there? And the preferred snack in Denmark, believe it or not, is a hot dog. Um, the lunch, the favorite lunch choice that I saw people in Denmark eating was hot dogs. And I had one myself, and they, they're somewhat different than the U.S., but it was pretty good. So, um, actually, the, the combo I had was at a gas station, and uh, the combo, because <laughs> I was I gassed up the car, and I was hungry, so the special was chocolate milk and a hot dog. <laughs> so I got that. And I have to admit, it tasted pretty good. But the hot dog didn't have mustard on it. had remoulade. I think is what it was called, which is it's a different kind of condiment than what we have here in the States, and it's pretty good. And this is a very big catalog. This was a steal for free. But this, like I said, souvenirs like this are just really cool to me because when I open this up and start flipping through it I also just start to remember my trip and you know just different places I went to and you know this is fun I like her hair they show this model in a lot of these these uh, ads and she's got cool hair maybe I'll show her again Very interesting. If you're getting bored of looking at furnishings, and if you're still with me, I will be looking at grocery items coming up too, if you find that sort of thing interesting. I know this video is probably going to be for a very specific audience, so I hope I'm not boring anybody off, but this is just something different I'm trying. Just that I want to show you. That I thought you might find interesting. There's the little tiny bit of grocery section. They had a fairly good sized grocery section over there. But this also shows you a general idea of like how the food looks. Okay. So we're moving away from Sweden to Italy. So where did I pick this up? I was on a trip to Venice. Uh, and uh, I stayed in a town outside of Venice called Treviso. And when I was in Treviso, I went to a store called Conad. Or Conad, I and um, 
I couldn't resist taking home this very cool catalog. And this shows, it's uh, themed for Christmas, and it shows a selection of uh, Natale Christmas foods. Um, salmon, 39.90 euros. Uh, salmon is a good pick for, for holiday eating. Then more um, caviar fish products. And um, this is seafood, different kinds of seafood, cocktails, shrimp, and well, langostina. What are they called? The little mini lobsters. Um, eel. You don't find that too much in the states, at least not to take home from the grocery store. Um, Here we have um, uh, it's it's uh, this appears to be like a, a a blend of different meat. The first thing that pops in my head is like turducken, but uh, uh, it looks much better. But it's done up for a holiday dinner kind of low prices so it's probably you know more of the budget dinner um, gold gold reserve um, prosciutto this um, this leg this uh, is made from a, a special pig that uh, um, this is forty four ninety a kilogram. This is a, a pig that is only found in a certain forest that only eats a certain kind of food, and it's super expensive. We saw some of these legs of ham or deer or ham or pig or whatever they are. I mean, they were going for up to five hundred euros. It was amazing. Um, I, so this is a, a a feast over there. More. holiday meals from Italy in case you're curious now we get into the cheeses and um, cheese in Italy is, is pretty diverse and fun to eat there's lots of different kinds a cheese plate is a nice snack over there and now we get into olive oil and balsamic vinegar and condiments Teas, uh, canned fish. Let's see, these are like gift boxes to give to people. It's kind of like where we have our hickory farms here. Wow. It's got pasta, uh, meat, and all kinds of goodies in there. Wow, look at that one. For 60 euros, you get all of that stuff. And here's just a bunch of sweets. Oh, these gift boxes, baskets look really, really good. I mean, next time I fly there, I'm a, I wish I could take one of these on me, on the plane with me, just to snack on because it's better than airplane food. But I doubt I'm gonna do that. didn't eat that good when I was in Italy. I only had one or two good meals and the rest of the time I just kind of snacked. I went to the grocery store. These these cakes are in, in Italy. This is that Christmas cake panettone. You, you can find them here in America but they have a bigger variety of different ones in Italy. They have some little chocolate nuggets in them and stuff. So we picked up one that had chocolate and it was really good. But a panettone, no Christmas in Italy is complete without bringing one of these babies home and eating it. And oh my gosh, they're very, very light buttery cake. It's, it's just really good. More panettones. So if you're spending Christmas in Italy, make sure you get yourself a panettone. Yes, I travel to Europe during Christmas time a lot because it's cheaper. 
and um, it's not as crowded and it's also fun because it's uh, you get the monuments all to yourself in a lot of cases you can take your time and not be rushed around the pickpockets aren't they're all hibernating and you can just enjoy yourself some beers wine more wine champagne Don Perignon 119 euros that's I'm not much of a of a champagne guy but that's my understanding is a good brand um, and now we get down to the back of the catalog it's just the general stuff so you know lotions and makeup is Justice League DVD um, which means I wasn't that long ago that I was there okay where are we at now now we're in Germany and in Germany I went to a few stores but it looks like I picked up everything at Penny which is a sort of a bargain grocery store that was close to the hotel and this will just give you an idea of the stuff they have in Germany Jacob's coffee and drink it it's good uh, Fanta and Coca-Cola the coke over there is made with sugar and it tastes pretty good I think they're doing that more in America now too though butter um, chocolate we have this brand in America Nutella of course uh, and we get to our meats uh, roasted chicken with stuffing, roast beef, chicken, ground beef, seasoned chicken, cold cuts, frankfurters, salami, it's good frankfurters and potatoes lunch idea here. Fruits. You got your apples, your pears, uh, kiwi fruit, oranges, um, tomatoes, lemons, peppers, mushrooms, and these guys. <laughs> I'm not sure, some kind of turnip? I don't know. Um, uh, so some processed meals. This is, uh, I believe it's yogurt. No, it's a new nougat cream. Uh, it might just be a dessert. This is pizza with salami, knick knock snack crackers, uh, orange drink. Uh, the orange drink over there is a darker orange than what we're used to. Pepsi, um, Pampers, Palmolive, Activia. Um, I think the flavors in Europe tend to be different than what we have here. If you're looking for your Activia, you might find flavors like black currant and stuff that you don't see here. Kinder is the chocolate that you can find very easily over there. Um, just ice creams, Kerrygold, uh, cheese. Not, we, we we're used to seeing the butter here, but they have the cheese over there. Um, lots of cheeses. Milk. It's like sushi. Uh, here we have... Um, desserts. Or cheese and cold cut better I guess higher quality um, asparagus um, marzipan cut no classic adore 
sugar sugar kartoffel uh, carrots blueberries uh, when you go to Europe go to the grocery store just take in the differences it's it's really interesting to see how things are different and it was Christmas time as you can see oh, now we're getting into more food here festive food I guess um, more cold cuts Pasta, pickles, Twix and Snickers, Coke, more mm -hmm. Kinder, chocolate, Kinder Bueno, uh, fruit drinks, I guess that's, that's beer, Pilsner, yeah, beer. Coffee. Coffee, tea, um, more Kansas soda. This uh, tea is really good. Tried it. Um, Bitburger beer. Made in Bitburg. This washing up soap. And now we have homewares, frying pans, um, the Christmas flowers, um, um, the name will come to me an air fryer. cake pan their own kind of version of Keurig over there the Nescafe uh, and we got clothing to, like Paw Patrol um, buy some reading glasses candles buy some clothes Skinny jeans, that's what they wear over there. They wear the puffy jackets. <laughs> and that is... That's where Kinder Eggs, yum. Uh, this one is actually different, so let's take a look at another one. If you're still enjoying this. Uh, this coffee, Dalmer, is my favorite... Possibly my favorite coffee in the world. It's... Whenever I go to Germany, I always bring home a few pounds of this. Um, it is very good. If you go to Germany and if you like coffee, do yourself a favor. Pick up a, a pound of Dalmor Classic. Not the Prodomo. Get the Classic. Okay. we got more meats ready for the holidays. And... Uh, Yum. Nothing like a good hearty German lunch. And the fruit again, watermelon, lemons, oranges, limes, tomatoes, kiwi, carrots, apples and potatoes. Oh, Berliners, yum. Donuts and coffee in the morning. I um so it's nothing better than just getting up early in the morning in Germany, going to a bakery, ordering a Berliner and a cup of coffee, and just watching the world go around. These, these star donuts, oh my gosh, these are all good. This is like your yogurts. The cola flavored dot Edgar. The dessert, uh, I wonder what that tastes like. Wow. Um, mini donuts, mozzarella sticks, good eating, cheese, 
jeez. I'm getting into holiday beverages to make your holiday more effervescent. Guinness beer becks. And there's a coupon. And uh, snack boxes for the holidays. Pizza bites, poppers, chili con carne. Oh, a Black House brat. I don't know what that is. It just looks like it's good. Um, ketchup and mayonnaise. Pickles. Uh, spec is a type of uh, cold cut over there. It's really good. Sauerkraut with spec. I bet that's good. And party trays. Some more sausage. Gouda cheese. Oh, sweets. Noppers. Noppers. Milka. So getting I never saw that. If I'd seen that I would take it home as a souvenir or that. These little ladybugs are cool. Um they this is a marzipan and it's huge in Europe. Uh terrible gummies. Honey, I think. Uh, butter. With coffee. Lavazza, it's Italian coffee. It's pretty good. Drink quite a little bit of it. Get your prepaid cards. And get some stuff for... Home stuff. Dog food. Cat food, mop heads, vacuum cleaners, fireworks, fireworks, get your fireworks in Germany, a penny, hmm. pyro monster, <laughs> hocus pocus. And in fact, we got a few more deals. Instant coffee. Um, little shortcakes. Some cuts of meat. And what else we got here? Another penny circular. I guess I shopped at Penny quite a little bit. Um, see, when I'm in Europe, a lot of times, when I, to save money, if I'm there on a long trip, and if I'm seeing stuff out, and if I have a room with a fridge and a microwave, I'll just buy food at the grocery store we'll eat there save a lot of money that way and you can still enjoy food from a different country open butter we got more produce plants cuts of meat It's like uh, packaged meats, bratwurst, this is uh, a way to make sparkling water at home. If you don't want to purchase the sparkling water you buy, you fill up this bottle with regular water and you put it through this machine and it will put bubbles in it for you so in Europe unlike America they um, prefer to drink sparkling water these are coupons for Google Play that I never took advantage of um, some more homewares air fryer you should get an air fryer it's a good way to cook food without grease mattresses Comforters. A few clothes.
and some exercise shoes. And what was this? Another one did we? This isn't yet a different one. I believe it just is. Okay. Um, I believe it is a different one. Coca-Cola. One euro eleven for that liter. Two liters. That's a pretty dollar eleven for two liters of Coca-Cola is pretty good. Coffee. Three euros and thirty cents. Chicken. Four euros and ninety-eight cents. Broccoli. Seventy-nine cents. Tomatoes, peppers, lettuce, onions, grapes, oranges, lemons, apples, pears, plants. I cut some meat. This is starting to look familiar to me, but different nonetheless. Fish sticks. Chocolate Philadelphia cream cheese mousse. Why don't they make that here? We're missing out. That's quick cereal. Oh my god. Lion candy bar cereal. Yes. If you know what a lion candy bar is. Like pigs in blankets. That's kind of like how they serve the hot dogs in Sweden and Denmark. They put them in like a little blanket. They don't put it in a hot dog bun. Um, chia seeds. That's becoming a popular in America now. Oh... Uh, Nescafe. Tortellini. This is making me very hungry. Yep, now we're into Home goods. Instant coffee. Butter spread. Okay, now where are we at? Kim Cop. This is another store. And I don't think that this was. I can't remember where I picked this up now to tell you the truth. But it seems to be from Scandinavia. So when I was grocery shopping in Denmark, I must have stopped in the car. And um, the food I, items here are even more exotic. For example, blood pudding. Um, this is illegal in a lot of countries, but it's a delicious breakfast item in England. Black pudding is what they call it. They slice it up and fry it. Have you ever had a full English breakfast? It's really good. Um, Chicken, tortillas, salsa. Yeah, this has got to be Copenhagen because you're not paying 99 euros for a bag box of chicken. <laughs> so that's in kroners. Uh, it was, this was either Sweden or, or Denmark. And I'm, I want to apologize. I don't know the languages. So um, those of my viewers in Sweden or Denmark... Don't be mad at me. But it's still interesting. I probably, I think I remember actually when I got this. This was Sweden. And I went in there because um, it was in a mall in Malmo and there was a grocery store. And I went in there and we were dying of thirst because we just walked all over the place. And we went in there to get a cold drink and I picked this up. So, that is a clue of where I picked this up. 
a very important clue right there. Very interesting. Tex-Mex. It's, it's, it's interesting to see Tex-Mex all the way over in Scandinavia. Yogurt. And it's like recipes. So, like how to make chicken carnita. And they're using Coca-Cola in the recipe. And then you, for 99 kroners you can buy the item. And then I, I'm sure everything you need to make this recipe is available at the store. Fruity banana split. Oh, that just looks good. It's it's s'mores. It's their s'mores in Sweden. And this is the recipe. Granten the rod marshmallows. Chudpad nugget. Riktik got to Helgen. Oh, please don't laugh at me if you're in Sweden. Oh, breakfast muffins are good. Sandwiches over there are good. Coffee. Juice. Apple juice. And another thing I saw that was interesting when I was in Denmark and Sweden is one drink that was popular was made out of um, elderflower, I think. Uh, this is really interesting. They just have different flavors and stuff. So just to recap, we went to Sweden. We went to Germany. We went to Italy. Back to Sweden. And finally to Copenhagen, Denmark. This was a little bit of a different video, so I want to thank you very much if um, if you have stuck with it. So um, if you like it, tell me and I'll make more like this. I have lots of stuff I picked up overseas that I think would make an interesting video. So let me know. And until next time, goodbye.